hello everyone and welcome back to my shameless dive today uh, a rare one i was given a gift from a friend a long friend over christmas and i've been looking forward to playing it but i didn't want to play it without you guys at least once so i figured i would do this as a shameless dive and jump straight into dwarf fortress a game which despite being around for a very long time and be something which i thought I probably would like for a very long time I've never had the guts to go in and go for it you know but uh, I guess I changed it changes here today because it was given to me and it's here and as you can see I was able to get to record even if it did take a bit of um, fiddling about I had to go through window capture and have it in windowed mode which is uh, a little bit odd but if it's working fine now, you'd be forgiven for thinking I'm playing Diablo based on the music in the background. That was my first thought, but, um, yeah, I'm going to jump straight in. Oof, okay. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Prepare to guide your stout charges to fortune in a world fraught with many perils. You'll begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth in the mountains. As you dig deeper, and more citizens take up residence in your outposts, your doings will attract attention, both wanted and unwanted. Deal with these challenges as they arise, and you too may one day find that your humble settlement has grown to become a mountain home, the center of your civilization. Okay. It's obviously going to go large. Interesting, that's how long it's going to generate for. Number of civilizations. Interesting. I, I don't know how hard any of these things... Ah, I guess I could put the salvage tree down a little bit more, but, um, apart from that, ooh. Ooh. There will be modding options. Fascinating. I have to look into that, to be honest. That sounds good. All right. Detail mode. <gasps> ooh. There's detail mode. Large island, large region. Oh. Cool. Okay, we've got seed, history seed. Embark points and year. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't end. There we go. Population cap. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm going to assume we won't get there in this video anyway. But I'm going to assume that I'll probably want to turn up all those caps eventually. Fascinating. You know what? I'm guessing I won't be able to guess what any of this stuff does or what is and isn't important until later. So I can't really do much modification here. But it is cool to see just how many amazing little options there are. Fantastic. Okay, create the world. giving me um, Diablo vibes. The land of destiny. 15 rejected. <laughs> I mean, is it actually going to do a history or... Is it just the map generation? Oh yeah, it's going, it's going to other places, okay. Now, if you don't know much about Dwarf Fortress, it's been out for many, many, many years. Um, it was a free game for a very long time, in fact I'm pretty sure it probably still is. And it was an ASCII game, which made it kind of hard to get into. Oh, here comes the history. The Abridged Chronicle, 27, 28, 29, oh god, so many thousands of events. Oh, that's interesting. So it's literally simulating what the wolf kind would do on this, um, on this landmass. That's cool. Wish I could zoom in and see it. So I guess the longer it is, the more stuff will be, and the shorter it is, the less stuff 
Interesting to start a world with no history and just create it from scratch. Hey, if I can do good at this game, I can imagine using some mods and pushing this to the limit. But, I mean, will I be able to do good? I don't know. Historical figures, 23,000. I wonder if there'll be wars and stuff. Let's have a look. Um, Lord Gringer. Oh god, so much. Struck. Snake curse. Swabble days. Oh god, I, I can't. The slave. The silvery door, not slavery door. Okay. Became the Lord of the Band of Forever. It's going too fast for me to read. I can, however, see that a large portion of the undergrowth is being um, colonized, so it does make a big question as to where I should go next. God. How many years did I choose again? I feel like you'd want to leave this go overnight if it went too long. Fascinating. Dude. Saying there's some background noise being recorded on the desktop audio, but I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, there's a fire. You can hear the fires burn. Okay, I couldn't even hear that because my headset was um, covering that. Fascinating. Well, I don't know how long this is going to take. Maybe I should just uh, pause the recording for a few seconds so it doesn't use up a lot of time. All right, okay, apparently we can cancel the history. <laughs> Because this history seems like it's been going on for a very, a very long time. Um, we can see that a lot of stuff has happened. It's the year 598, which, I mean, I don't know if that's too early or too late. I don't know. It looks like a fair amount of things have happened. There's a bunch of cities over in this area. And going all throughout there. I did also notice we can move around, which is pretty cool. I wonder if there's even any places which are untouched by Dwarf Kind. Oh, this is a lot of castles here, caves here. Looks like this section right here is fairly um, untouched, so use world. Wait, wait, no, it's use world now. Come on. Thank you. Alright. So, it's just play now. I don't know what it's going to do, where it's going to throw me. I didn't even know this was going to work. This is my uh, first time, obviously. Take you a while to be honest. Apparently saving, so yeah. All right, here we go. Fortress Adventurers Legend. Wait, coming soon. I mean, I guess Fortress, right? That's got to be it. I can choose a time. I don't pass a few weeks. Also, we gotta pass even more time. 
I love how all of their um, seasons are simply... I love how all their seasons are different building materials, primarily stones. That seems very... Although, the we the, the month of timber seems a little bit out, out of date, don't you think? Would I like a tutorial for one of the harder games around? Yes, please! Oh. It's showing me where I am, apparently. A dwarven outpost. You have arrived. After a journey into the mountain homes, into forbidding, forbidding wilderness and beyond, your task is finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for all the glory of Silbrek Sakat. There are almost no supplies left, but with a stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, by plow, or by hook, provide for your dwarves. You're expecting a supply caravan to spoil winter and tombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure with your loggings. Yeah, grizzly bears get hungry. The new chapter of dwarven history begins here in this place. Gusoglosbach, stoked pillar, strike the earth. All right, so camera controls. Yep. Oop, okay, so literally just digging. Oh, ah, the trees. It even shows you how far the trees go up. That's nice, isn't it? Okay. Very cool, very cool. When your view is in the air above the tiles, you can see them down below. But you only interact with objects in your current elevation. The view will be dark on the ground until you begin mining. You can move the camera to the surface with the surface button highlighted. F1 the hotkey will reset it to your wagon. You can use the zoom in and zoom out wheels as well. So I can use the brackets. Honestly, I feel like going in is probably a, a decent idea at the moment. It's time to get to work. Let's start by digging a square well into the ground. There may be plenty of hillside digging too, but you want to seek wealth below the sur surface. Mining tasks dedicated in the mining in the play area. Begin by clicking the highlighted mining button. Okay. But like, I still want to dig into a mountain. So, screw you game. I want to dig. So, first of all. Dig a ramp. Dig a regular hallway. I'm sorry, but I'm a dwarf. And I'm digging a hole. There we go. So I need to unpause and finish mining. Well, finishing mining will take a while. Um, well, I mean, I hope you guys are just going to go do it, quite frankly. Oh, you are! Beautiful. Let's make a safe place to work. Select the regular mining mode. Left is stair mining. Dig a rectangle on the ground. Big enough for a work stockpile. to work box. Uh, workshops. You see, the most workshops are 3x3 three three squares. Mine through stone layers further down may take longer, but leaves boulders, which are essential for, for mining building materials. Okay. Um, I feel like the stockpile can probably just be up in the dirt anyway. So I'm just going to make a little stockpile at the top, and then I'm going to go down and dig a few workshop spaces. No. Uh -oh. Um can I can I stop that? Oh damn it. Well I guess this is a big uh big uh, corridor in the middle of my base, that's fine. There we go. Wait, zero of twenty. Eesh, I have to complete that many rooms? This'll take a while. I feel like I probably should be listening to this tutorial, but I also want to have my face looking cool. Ah good, room complete twenty on twenty. There we go. 
Spiders are right in the wagon are dangerous to being carried off by wild creatures. Time to build a stockpile under the, under the, under the ground to unload them. Stockpiles are crucial for moving supplies around your fortress where they're needed. Okay. Place an all stockpile. I shall. Place a couple. Honestly? That seems perfect. Now. How do I actually make it into an all stockpile? Oh. I've got to accept it first. My mistake. Accept. And it can have everything. So, the workers should start unloading the wagon into your stockpile. Later, you may wish to customize your stockpiles by creating them um, with a custom button. Okay. Like refuse, for example. A, se a separate refuse stockpile is a good idea to keep your soldiers clean. Okay. You may close it by right clicking. Okay. Now, if I do want to have a refuse stockpile, which I honestly think I should have in general, let's just try one of those. Let's make a small stockpile. And then we'll just call it refuge. There we go. Perfect. Hey, with the shelter ready underground, it's time to build. First, you need building materials like wood and boulders. Start by chopping down the trees. You may wish to have a dedicated wood stockpile and haulers will drop the wood. Okay. Well, that probably means I need a little bit more space as well. So let's just uh, build up a small little territory here, which will be my wood stockpile. And let's start by chopping down some trees. Interesting thing will be whether it chops down the upper level ones as well. It should, hopefully, but we'll see. Let's chop all the ones around the general vicinity, I think. We have a bunch of stuff coming in. I don't know what half of it is, but we've got it. Aww. It must be our wild animals. Because they're staying around our cart to begin with, so that's interesting. Hold it. Let's set up a new stockpile. Accept and make it just be for wood. Wherever it is. Wood! There we go. Wood stockpile. Perfect. Now, let's keep uh, digging downstairs as well. Give the diggers plenty to do. I hope my diggers aren't also the ones who do, uh, aren't also, oopsies, oopsies, um, what if I click outwards, like that, nope, nope, it just replaces it, well, unfortunately, I've got to replace it, because, um, yeah, I want it to be the right shape, damn it. Also, can't help but tell, look at those roots coming through. Okay. Trees have been cut down. Lots of them. So, yeah, let's check. Yep, they do fall entirely when they get cut down. That is actually really cool detail. Alright, workshops are one of the many buildings you now place with the build button. Click it now. Okay. So, we can build furniture workshops. Oh, a door. I'd love to put a door on at my base. So let's um, let's make a let's make a let's make a workshop then. So workshops. Um, what do we need? A carpenter's workshop, which is what I was wanting. So there we go. One carpenter's workshop. Second materials amount needed one. Let's deal with our chert. We only have two of them, but it sounds cool. 
Now, can I build anything else? Okay, add the make bed task. Okay. Oh. Oh shit, you're, you're making everything out of chert? Is that what we're, we're at? Oh no, what have I done? I don't want to make it out of chert. No, no, it's a permanent part of the building. Okay, add new task. Make bed. Okay. Add new task. Make wooden door. Very important. Alright. Well, I feel like I want my rooms to be somewhere else. So can I build another stairway? I can. So will it work or will it destroy my existing staircase? I guess we'll find out. Oh wow, I totally cut down far, far, far too many uh, things, didn't I? Okay, cool, I can. Alright, so this is going to be my lovely little rooms. I feel like the room should be a little bit larger. Might be able to share a couple of dwarves in. Damn it, I did it again. Oops. Oh wait, I can do this. I can do the rubby thing. Can, can I do the rubby thing? No. No. Remove mining. It says remove mining. Please. <sighs> well, I'm doubling down then. Okay, this is a common area. That's uh, all there is to it. That's going to become a common area. Which is fine. Exactly what I wanted. A very large, in-charge common area. See? It's fine. This is fine. I really wish I could put to destroy that. Hockey X is not working. Now you have a bed, you can place it in the fortress, place it on the ground, just like the workshop. In the dig a new room first if you'd like. Beds are found in the furniture category. Yes. I plan on it. I'm going to place a beautiful bed. Hmm. Pine beds. Now, did I only make one? Yes, I did only make one bed. Let's make that happen for a while, actually. Maybe we can sell beds. Also, can I now put a door in? Hold up, I just want to read what that door says. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, now you have bed, you can place in the fortress. Dig a new room for us. Yes, 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 yes. The rest of the interface is now enabled to click on. Oh, it wasn't before. <gasps> that might mean I'll be able to save my. Stop. Oh, it is. Oh. Oh. I saved everything. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Whew. Realize it needs to be two so it can make a corner here. So technically where I'd want to dig for this to happen and be symmetrical is through here. Like so. Also, uh question. Why is that tetrahydrite? Ore of silver, ore of copper making furniture. Fascinating. Hello, friend. All right, so let's get a citizen or creature. Feel free to pause, check out the information. Well, let me do that then. Hello, friend. We have Liblash Megalsmon, the woodworker. He has no job. 
I assume that means no job, but he is a woodworker, so. He disdains skill. That's useful. <laughs> he doesn't want to be skillful at all. He's thoughtless, humorless, has high stamina, hateful and frail. Lovely. He sounds like a great guy. I guess he is a dwarf, fair enough. Okay, personality. He's a very good feel for social relationships and a sharp intellect, but he has a poor kinesthetic sense and very bad intuition. Huh. He never deliberates before action, to the point of being consider considered faultless. Yeah, he's apparently very good feel for social relationship, so he knows he's faultless. Boy, well, never. Uh, uh, he is utterly humorless. He is often inflamed by hatred and easily develops hatred towards things. He generally seeks out exciting, adventurous situations. He is generally unhindered by thoughts of feelings of others. He's a sociopath. He has prone to strong feelings of lust. He is quite polite. He rarely feels discouraged. Has a tendency towards deep emotional bonds with others. He's curious and he can learn. He prefers to live harmoniously as possible. Wait, what? But he... I feel like some of these are very counter... Okay. I feel like this guy's going to be a rapist, but anyway... His tendency to consider ideas and obstructions over practical applications. He has a calm demeanor, despite his hatred of everything. Okay. And uh, uh, he is not inherently proud of his talents or accomplishments. Well, yeah, he, he's, he despises skill. He needs alcohol to get through the working day. Oh boy, fantastic. Important and sometimes urgent information is given alerts on the left side of the screen. Okay. More importantly, why is there wood there randomly? Okay. There is nothing to catch in the central cramps, swamps. Whatever is cleared. We've struck Dret, we've struck Tehad right. You might need supplies for the coming winter. Trade with the autumn caravan, you must be able to trade depot in the build menu. Okay, well, I guess we just build a trade depot in the build menu. Oh, nope, nope, no, 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 not over the trees and not over the food. And we can make it have a lot of different things now. I think jet. Make it out jet. An obvious material to use. Um, I just said that. Okay, so um, you need something value trade. Crafts are easy way. I need a workshop with crafts. Okay, so let's make a craft workshop. So workshops. Furnaces, ashery, barley, carpenter, graph. Graphs! There it is, graphs. Um, we'll build this one out of. Obviously, obvious material used is craft as rocks. If you dig down enough, you'll find near infinite amount of boulders and various kinds and some rough gems if you're lucky. Gents can cut in a jeweler's warehouse uh, workshop, encrust them on crafts, and bring even more value. I mean, I don't know if this actually does have any impact, but I'm going to use the best building materials I have to build all this stuff, I think. Well, I guess it also needs me to build a uh, jeweler's workshop then, I suppose. Sure. Losing is fun! Oh, well, that's definitely going to happen, yes. Ah, here we go. Most likely the doors will starve unless you read the things. Screw that. I'm not leaving anything. Um, first of all, let's start to gather some stuff, because I'm guessing we need to do that. There's grapes around, which you probably make... Oh. Can I gather the grapes? I guess not. There's some rhubarb. Can I gather the rhubarb? Nope. Um... Let's just gather whatever we can, really. 
probably also does mean I need to start uh, expanding a little bit more in terms of what I want to do. In fact, this might actually give me another idea of what I need to make. Um, probably some form of cookery. Something that helps me cook things. Oh, here we go. Still. Butcher, Fisher, Kitchen. Oh, Kitchen sounds important. So there's a still. Let's start by building a farm plot. Okay. Cool. Guess let's wait. See what happens. We've got these things almost empty, I'm guessing. And are you fishing? You're fishing. You're a fisher dwarf. You apparently couldn't catch anything before, so uh, good luck. I also can't help but notice that um, the rest of my territory seems uh, wildly devoid of life, except for the northern section. A little bit concerning, to be honest. Oh shit, a swarm of flies. Uh oh. Why is it, why is there a swarm of flies in my stockpile? Okay, maybe I've got to move the food further down. I might move the food into this area down here. Actually, I feel like that'll make more sense anyway. So we'll move some food. Right. Oopsies. We'll move some food right down here. And this will be only for food. That way, hopefully, if there's any flies, they won't be able to get down here. So I want you to infinitely cut gems. I want you... Hmm. You can do different things out of different things. Wood. Make wooden amulet. Make wooden crowns. Make wooden crafts. And I'd also like you to make stone crafts. Stone is preferable. Okay. Though that does mean I'm going to have to continually mine, isn't doesn't it? Which, I mean, to be fair, once again, Dwarf. So, I guess that, that sort of makes some semblance of sense, doesn't it? For now, let's just uh, build up our space and... Uh... Oh, shit. And this, my friends, is why I'm very happy to finally have the ability to delete mining orders. Ooh, we found something else. Hematite. I'm guessing that's iron. Yep. Beautiful. I mean, I might eventually just want to dig out all of this ore, whether it's um, useful, whether it's in my space or not. Maybe I can replace it with more. Yeah, see, this is this ore. Ooh, pyrite clusters as well. I don't think pyrite's worth very much, but it'll do. Now, probably also got to find a place to store out rat remains. Why are there rat remains there? I, mean, I guess it's better than a rat, but seriously, doesn't that count as refuse? I guess it can be crafted. Maybe I need to make a uh, a butcher. Made out jet. Right, can you make more beds? Yeah, you are making beds. So I would like you to I would like to place some more beds. So do you guys have any beds? Have you been working on beds? Because I would very Oh you have lots of beds. Oh, very nice. Good job. In fact, that's probably to the point where I can stop building beds at this point, you know? You can make barrels though. And animal traps and bins. And bookcases. And buckets! 
Ooh, I like that. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I guess that's what the cat is for. Cat, can you kill everything, please? Oh, she has meager creativity and large deficit of willpower. Right. Is there any way I can give you a command to kill? Guess not. Oh, it looks like she... Nope, nope. We'll get, the, we'll get the food down there. It's fine. All right, you. You're still building it. It's fine. Oop, there it goes. All right, so add a new task. Butcher an animal infinite. Catch a live land animal. Extract from live land animal. Wait, extract from? What does that even mean? Yeah, you know, I don't know what that one means. I might just let it be butchering. Okay. Wait, I thought cutting gems was infinite. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this section here and I'm going to put all my crafts in it. I think that'll work well. Do I have berries? I feel like I need to cook with that. I don't really have a cooking f uh, a kitchen, so I think that should probably be down here in this general vicinity. So we'll make another ah vermin capture shot nest box nest box. Oh, well, I definitely need to um put a nest box down. Oh. Well, okay, fine. We'll do that later. That's okay. Um, do we have a kitchen? We do have a kitchen. Thus, perfect. Make it out of jet too. Make everything out of jet. It's fine. We got tons of it. Like literally. Oh damn it! The flies are back. Um, this isn't great. Apparently the only thing we have is pigtail. Wait, do we have no seeds for this season? Well, that's useful. Where do our pigtails come in then? See a pattern here. We definitely need to pick up some seeds from somewhere. I don't know where. Okay. I think what we need to do is build one of those vermin catching areas. So let's expand our workshop floor. Just mildly. doing that. I don't I keep doing that. I keep doing that. I shouldn't keep doing that. It's fine. We really need ooh, tiger eyes. Well that will be able to be chopped with this. Why? Why is no one doing this? Oh, I need to give it a stockpile, huh? All right. Well, let's uh, let's dig some stockpiles at the back room. Like that. Beautiful. There we go. Octagon cut tiger eyes, rough tiger eyes. It's finally, finally doing that. Which also means I can probably encrust. Oh, it's made 
pizza. A jet crown, a jet figurine. Okay, we just really need to give it a space to be. Oh, it, it's already encrusting them too. Well, that's cool. Okay. do is this one I'll wait until that final rocks cleaned up ah here we go that's why for example we can say this is the bedroom dig that a little bit more to be honest um let's dig out this bedroom a little bit more they seem to not mind and we'll, we also need to probably put down some more um furniture we've got plenty of beds so pine bed pine bed all right Gonna give them in individual spaces, but at this point I don't really know if it's worth it. Oh well. Well, well, well. Windmill, gear assembly, screw pump, interesting. Ooh, floor. I can place floors down. Building present. Oh. Cherry. Cherry, 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 cherry. Oh, I hope I have enough cherry. I think this is probably a massive waste of my uh, stuff, but anyway. Especially for only that tiny, tiny area. So uh, maybe not. Ooh, support. I feel like maybe putting a few supports up might not be a horrible idea. Though I probably just put it in the most useless area. Can I at least hold down shift? Put down multiple. No. Well, this is going to take a while then, huh? But you know what? Nothing's told me about yet, so it's fine. I also do feel like I should dig a little bit closer in this location to see if I can get more of those fire eyes. Now, my food is okay. My drink is okay. Why does it say I've got 30 seeds, but I clearly don't have any seeds? I must have some seeds, right? Is there any, is there any way to specifically say what seeds I have? Because uh, none of the above seems to be the way. Hmm... Wish I could do some, like, I can only seem to move, like, directly up and down by one section. I can't, um, move smoothly, which makes sense given the age, but it's kind of an annoying place to, way to view my map at the moment. I want to see more up here, but also still see this. You want food? Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that just yet. I need to wait till this kitchen area is um, un dug, dug out. And um, quite frankly, I've been quite, uh, yeah. I've been giving my miner a lot of work. Let's just be honest about that. I definitely feel like we're low on food though, so. Ah, kitchen. Okay, add task. Let's just prepare and... Fine meal. Don't know what that entails, but you can make as many as you want. And if you can't make that, you can make an easy meal. And if you can, make a lavish meal. A little bit of everything. 
Shoot, mate. I'll put the lavish meal lower than the easy meal. It should be the rarest thing we make. It should be something that uh, is... Like, in, for, for a special occasion, you know? Now, how's my wood going? Plenty. Like, literally tons. Oh, is this just a random hole? There? Because that very much looks like a random hole. Uh, I would very much like to fill that in. Thank you. works in fact i definitely want to put more for um more floor down in general so i can actually put down wall as well does that mean like just making my wall nicer or does it mean like supporting the wall i have because you build walls above ground in caverns or in spaces you'll find out in order to block the passageway of fluids of blah 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 blah. it's not that then got it um i was hoping that would actually support it Oh, in the rare event, you completely detach a piece of your fortress. They will, otherwise, they're ornamental. So, basically, your fortress will be fine. Unless you do something to it. Something bad. Gotcha. Chop down a few more trees in this general vicinity. Hamster remains. I'm sorry, para. Are you cooking, by the way? You've got a black bullhead and chopped snapping turtle. So you are working. Good job, man. Although I do feel like the walls will probably need something to drink as well. So I don't know how long I've got to do prepare that. Really want to expand this territory a little bit, so I'm very glad you're here, finally. I also would very much like you to clear up this other room so I can actually do something there, too. So, I'm sorry. Disdains perseverance. Values power. Well, you know what makes you powerful? Mining this dirt. Oh, you're just falling asleep. I mean, fair enough. I've given you a lot of work. All right, let's um let's gather up some more stuff because we don't actually know how much, like how fast these things will regrow, and we don't even know if they will, or if they go rotten. So let's gather a few. We won't gather everything. We'll gather a few. Is there anything left on the um on the wagon? Apparently, just a bunch of pigtail stuff. I think it's fine. See, Chert Amulet. That sort of thing I'd love to have stored elsewhere if it was dug. <laughs> okay, this area is now dug, which means I can make an area. Um, I want to make two here. I want to, first of all, make an area for finished crafts. So I'm just going to say um, crafts, crafts, crafts. Is there anything for crafts? Finished goods. There we go. Finish good stockpile. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeedy. And then I would like to buy a separate one, which will just contain... Oopsies. Which will just contain... Any stones that you have. There we go. And over here, I'd like to contain one that contains uncut gems and as such. So anything gem-like gem or gem-adjacent can go in this one right here. And granted, it's probably the opposite, well, the other way around. I probably should have made the gem one 
Small. But, you know. Lots of coins here. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I specifically need to put gems. Okay. Um, looks like I also need a place for furniture, which probably means I will need a, another little storage room down here, which is fine. Okay. Now... We're fine. Well, I gotta say, is that snow? Dense mountain. It's like it's. It looks very. Oh, it's flowers. Oh, I see. I mean, I hope the cats are doing their one sole job, you know? Alright. Let's also see what we can build workshop-wise. I feel like we should have as many workshops as possible. Like a furnace, for example. Feels like something that would be very valuable. For a dwarf, right? I don't know if there's any downside to doing this, but uh, just gonna do it. Ah, oh, we've also got more, more space to put down furnishing. Very good. Let's just put more and more beds down because we got plenty of them. Pressing the wrong thing over and over again, huh? Yes, I do. Yes, I very much do. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to build chest then, too, aren't I? Excuse me, can you please make a boatload of chests? I feel like it'll make everyone happier if we have a boatload of chests. I also will give you. A lovely new storage room. Yeah, for your furniture. Huh? Huh? Don't say I don't give you anything. Now, I also do feel like maybe, besides this, you might want to also build barrels. Like, a lot of barrels. I feel like that's something we will need at some point. We can build a few and then I'll stop it, but we've got plenty of wood. Yeah. Okay. Then, actually, you know what? I'm going to expand this little common area in the middle here. There we go. Sorry, miner. I know you might be thirsty, but that's literally what I'm trying to deal with right now. So just be a little bit. Oh, that's cool. Not, not needed for me, but still. Okay, zones. Okay, so. Has the bedroom been set? Yes, but needs to be expanded. There we go. Except. Okay. I think. Oh, shit. I actually don't know if it's okay. I say it's okay, but I'm like, this is all just like me being very, very optimistic here. Just remove both zones and then add a new zone and make this the bedroom. Okay. And then we'll make this general area in here a uh, meeting area once it's done. Oh. 
Oh, there's a difference between a bedroom and dormitory. Oh, shit. Okay. Then a dormitory, then, is what this room is. Sorry. Sorry. My mistake. Ah, yes. And we can designate a garbage dump, which we've already technically got up here, but we'll designate it. There we go. We've got gather fruit. Ah. Huh. Well, I mean, we might as well set a gatherer as well, I suppose. There we go. Um, yeah, gather fruit. Just do that at all times. Uh, what else do we have here? Pit slash pond. Okay, panel pasture. Dining hall. Okay. Well, I know where the dining hall will be, but I might want a little bit more... I feel like a lot of these things are things we shall do anyway. So, I don't think it's required. Okay, I don't think it really matters. Are you okay, guys? They're both thirsty. But you know where to go for that, so... Uh-oh. Okay, saving game. Might just take a while. I am fully intending this to go poorly. Right? This is taking a while, and I feel like that makes sense given how big the world is, and I purposely set that. So, I think our plan at the moment is setting up the common area, then we've, we've got to make sure we have a supply of meat. Uh, sorry, of um, food and drink. I think we're doing okay, but our meat supply is quite troubling, and we need to get a lot more food stored up. why these things keep going away is it just because they're running out or who knows I can even make this even bigger this area here I think especially now I know it doesn't actually correct collapse if I do anything too terrible here to, okay to be fair I didn't actually say for them Thing. But, ah, look at that. A bunch of uh, amulets. And you, once again, are not encrusting or cutting. Please cut. Freeze, it, freeze in, jest. in jest. Why is it consistently doing this? It's meant to be indefinitely. Repeat indefinitely. Why does it stop? They were the basket, the barrels. Why are the barrels stopping? What do you need for barrels? Because I would imagine it would just be wood. So, should have plenty of that. I also find it interesting that the digging isn't happening. Makes me wonder if it just can't dig past the stockpile. In which case, I might need to... Yeah, I reckon it can't get past the stockpile. I hope they can still walk over the stockpile, though. I feel like I've seen that happen before. Let's just build up here and build a little way around and see if that helps. Let's see the cats can move across.
Everyone is thirsty. We have plenty of drink. I'm trying to make more. Speaking of, um, I would now like a warehouse, a workshop, sorry. For still. Okay. What else can we build here that will help? Because I'm a little bit concerned about this. We'd build a fishery. That would be a useful one. So let's do that as well. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Workshop. Farming. Ooh, farmer. I mean, sure, why not? We do have those weird animals that are outside. We might as well use them for something. Which probably means we also need to designate an animal area. So, let's just have it in this nice, well-defended spot back here. Okay. Do you guys start to move over or? In fact, a lot of you guys are literally not doing anything. Stone crafter. Exhibition leader. Okay, guys. We'll do ta available tasks anywhere, anytime. Yes. Okay. Here's hoping they will when they get more things they can do. We could make a table. Or we make a chair. Well, let's just make some tables for now. Indefinitely. And... Make a chair. Indefinitely. There we go. I feel like a lot of stuff isn't happening right now. Are you also my miner? You are also my miner. I see. So, probably can cancel that job and let you go do other things. And you are my woodworker. Which, okay, means that once again, you only have so many jobs. I see. God damn it. So, I've got to manage... While he's making the table, he should be able to make it too. We have plenty of stuff, so fair. Uh! Yes. Turning those in the table seems like a great idea. Oh, hello. Cherry flowers. Whatever they are, they're, they're growing a lot. Can we harvest them? Are they used for anything? Dead grapevines. Yeah, well, some of them aren't dead, so let's grab the grapes because if they're ready for harvest, if these other things are ready for harvest now, we should really continue to harvest them because I don't know if there's a limited amount of time or anything, but uh, yeah, let's do that. Also, these things are done now. Good. Catch live fish. Extract from raw fish. Prepare raw fish. And you, brew drink. From fruit. Requires empty food storage item. Requires empty food storage item. I'm guessing that means barrels. Well, I tried to build barrels before, but it wasn't working.
Make barrel. Please. Please make barrel. Select. Oh. I just want it to be wood. Can't be a, just a wood barrel in general. What wood do we have the most of then? Can I at least can I at least find out what wood I've got the most of? Looks like persimelon. Persimmon. I got the most the most of that. Okay, so if I make a not birchen barrel, but a persimmon barrel. There we go. Will you now make a barrel so my people can make booze so you guys can drink? What are you doing exactly? Since you're making a rock table and then have no job. Um, okay, so no more rock tables then. Got it. Go do something else then. Oh, they did make a church table. He is still making tables, I think. Nope, now he's just chilling. Well, what I'd really love is someone to make a goddamn barrel. I don't think I need to do that. I just... Make a barrel. I beg you. Downstairs to like put them in the storage. But you are cooking though, so that's good. does this go pretty far it's a fairly tall and very green mountain it's whole area is really mountainous but not mountainous is in a bad thing like it's not rocky unforgiving mountain they're actually quite nice mountains really so guys is there a reason that you guys just don't work at all Hey, you're a weaver, sure. But you're also a dev novice gem, gem setter and animal dissector. Can I tick all of these? Because I'd really just like everyone to do everything, please. They just... They just, just doing nothing. Why am I the wolves doing nothing? You can do anything you want to. Set your mind and believe. And people still haven't even mined out this top area. I have a literal butcher, right? So, can you go hunt some animals? Why 
why are my dwarves not doing anything? This is very strange. Like, for example, all this food could easily be carried inside. A barrel could be made. Let's see if there's anything missing. Make barrel dwarf fortress. A made out of wood. Requires one log for each barrel. For barrel. Okay, so... Okay, barrels used to designate areas called designations. When you designate area for storage, such storage, for area, food or water, automatically use. Yeah, I've did that. Designate. Water source. Gather fruit. But, but why won't you build gar barrels? It doesn't say anything. Ah, lovely. I definitely got barrels here, which contain a bunch of food, apparently. Okay. I should be able to make more barrels, though, right? Hi. Guys, there's only so much I want to do in my in this life with you guys. It's only so much I'm asking you to do. Could not find path to gather plants. Wait, is it because? No, it's possible. It's openable. Um, wait. <gasps> oh, no! I know what I did! Oh, I... When I built, built that, um... Staircase, it... There. Oh, great. Is it because I don't have a staircase? Is that it? Is it because it just disappeared on me? Because I used to have a staircase. I don't even... I'm going to have to watch... Was it because I built a wood floor of my own staircase? Please. Please let me... Let me save this. I don't know how I managed to build a wood floor of my own staircase. But please build a staircase. I will... Are you, I will pay you all the money in the world to the man who brings me a finished staircase. Oh no. I've got a bad feeling about this. There are definitely dwarves. They're all dead. They're all dead down here. Oh no. I don't. Everyone's dying. Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? I mean, I guess this seems like a decent spot to stop for now. I have no idea how I screwed up. I they did say that dying is fun, I guess. Can someone please just mine? I didn't even notice what was happening. And now my people are just leaving. That's all getting killed. I can't tell which, really. 
I'm guessing died because um, they were stuck underground for the whole everything. Got it. Okay, can I just like remove? Can I just like remove the floor? I see what I did wrong. I don't think it's even worth it. I think it is quit without saving this one. Well, that was something. I thought it was going so well until I built a f fudging floor over my only entrance into the hole. <sighs> okay. Great new world, I think. Yes, it's his history length. A hundred years. Why didn't it stop at a hundred years? Yeah, let's just do something here for a test, okay? Let's say low savagery. Create world. I just, I just want to know, okay? All right. Oh. Now, if I don't choose, uh, what's his face? If I don't choose a, um, to do tutorial, okay, let's just go to just year 50. Perfect. All right, play now. Who needs history anyway? We can make the history. Like, that'd be an interesting thing. If I then go back to the world, can I continue the history? I don't know. I also wish it wouldn't use up the first two weeks of the year just because, you know? That's kind of rude. I guess it's meant to be like, this is how long it took us to get there, so fair enough. Alright, skip tutorial. Please heed the embark warnings about aquifers, salt water, and other hazards. Some locations are challenging even for the experienced players. It'll be a very short game if you don't know how to deal with them. After you embark, help is available. Oh, okay, so before they actually just gave me freedom. Now it's just like now you have full complete okay, before they, they told me what to do, now they give me freedom. Alright, so I think somewhere down here. Light aquifer. Trees, none. Ah, there we go. The muck of s murk of selling. Heavy cottons. Freshwater swamp. Temperate. Heavily forested. Thick. Untamed wilds. Humans are a day's travel southwest. It has little soil. Mm, again, I don't know what that means. So let's find a nice, perfect spot. Trees, none. Trees, none. Hostile! Okay, so no. No for hostile goblins. <laughs> Humans, here. Okay, let's just try and avoid that. Ooh. Savannah grasslands. This looks te tempting. Okay. Murphal. Temperate. Sand. I don't have many resources, though. A lot of dote. I think I need to go... Okay. It's those ones it's all the same stuff around here. And some things are multi are changing. Nickel zinc, nickel zinc. And then it goes. Okay. We well, don't want to be too close to the other dwarves, but we also don't want to be too far away from them. Woodland. Untamed wilds. Hmm, see has. Nickel zinc. Okay, flux stone layer. Platinum. I think they all have platinum still. Oh, can I zoom in? Yeah. Click the map. 
to zoom in and choose your unblock location. Okay. Click embark to place your fortress. Right click to zoom out. Okay. So I guess we just choose an area which seems good to begin with, like this area we found before. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. then we can find changes. Like for example, right, there's sand, some sand, little soil. Somewhere like that might be handy. Or maybe near the water. Probably near the water would be better. Honestly, near water and mountain would be probably best. Stream. Shred crud. Murphal. Soil. That looks like a good place. Let's embark. Recommended size. It's four by four. Wait, can I make it bigger? Ooh, I can. <gasps> I can make my map bigger. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to. And that seems perfect. Heh, <laughs> lag. I'm more worried about my own death. Thank you very much. All right, so this time let's try and be a little bit more careful. After journey to the mountain homes and forbidding wilderness, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, no, this place is very snowy. Oh no, I thought this was meant to be. What? It is. Oh no. Did I just make another mistake? Already? This whole grassland is just... I mean, I guess it's early spring instead of summer, so maybe that's why they send some time. They're like, well, if we need some time to live first. Alright, let's go back to the... Uh, wagon location, please. Okay. Well, our best bet is going to be going inside this, um... Wait, that's a... Okay. That might be the stream. Okay, I don't actually know where we are right now. But I think that is the mountain. So, let's dig into this and see what happens. Okay, now I've learnt my mistake from last time, so I'm going to go with bigger corridors for the main corridors, okay? Then I'll have still have the large storage area, but this time I'm going to have it nice and over here. This will be the all storage department, where everything can go. Okay? Then I'll put the... There we go. And that'll probably be way too big, but you know... Screw it. Screw the world. Let's go. While we're doing that, we can also try gathering some food. Because there is definitely some food around here. Same with some wood. So let's gather a little bit of wood. Okay. There we go. There's some wood. And while I'm here gathering, can I also gather some... Can I also gather some... Rocks? No? No, I can't gather any rocks, which is odd. Because, you know, the wolf. Ooh, that's interesting. Black sand. I probably don't want to do too much of sand, I'd imagine. Ooh, hey! Things have melted already. Okay. Damn, we arrived early then. Gotcha. Well, please, everyone, do get to work. Um, where's the fish of the wharf actually fish? We were meant to be- Ah, it's still frozen over currently. Well, we can obviously see if we can make some... Stairways for him, though. Because, um, might be important. So let's make a ramp. Ramp. Oh, I 
I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so I need to go down like that to build ramps. So we will. We'll build a ramp that goes down here. And we'll build a ramp that goes down here. And we'll build a ramp that goes down here. I hope that works because um, I don't want to be stuck up on this mountain. Something has collapsed to the surface. What? Oh, wait, what? Someone has collapsed on the surface. Wait, why? What? Is someone already dead? Ow! What happened? Did the cat kill? I am very con confused as to how someone just randomly died on me already. Excuse me, why is everyone so unhappy at the moment? It's terrified after seeing Feb Fallacies die. Okay, but but how? How did how did they die? Is coated with black sand. Oh no. Is this gonna just is it because I cut the wood? Was did it fall on her? Cause if so that's Oh yeah. She has the axe. Oh this isn't good. You know what? I think I need to uh take this slow. I will play more of this game. Um, if you ever see it again, hopefully, it'll be when I know what the heck I'm doing. Thank you for joining me for a series of disappointing failures. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!